Piper is looking to make her mark in Sin City and your collectibles display. Neat. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, that's rad. And she has a Canadian flag on her shoulder, which means that this is Hancon rap. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just Can throw things out there like that. CanCon is a big conversation. Oh, okay. So All right. do you want to hear about why Canadians have to settle for weird stuff that's not as good as American stuff, but sometimes it's way better for different reasons. I mean, kind of. Okay. Again, this might be on the citizenship test. So. Yeah. All right. Honestly, this one might be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as you might be aware, yes. Canada is next to a very big country called America. Ah, yes, okay. And America mm -hmm. has more people, and it has the movie industry, and it has all the major cities where mm -hmm. you have to go to get big, and it has this huge cultural influence that is sort of, I would say... Um, Hegemonic? Yeah. And, and, and e like elsewhere in the world, you know, uh -huh. if you're down in Australia or New Zealand, you know, you're so far removed enough that you can sort of develop your own local culture. But when you're in Canada and you're this close uh -huh. to the United States, you get sort of like this issue. It's like, well, how do we stop just being... Amer how do we preserve our mm -hmm. own unique, weird Canadian culture? Yep. And so they came up with this idea in the 1960s because it was like the centenary of Canada and it was all like, yeah, let's care about being Canadian. And Canada's never really been that patriotic or like gung-ho about anything. I'm going to be. Yeah. I mean, you can. I'm bringing that energy. No one's going to like think badly. But like Canada's not like, you know. Yeah. I, we don't have intense feelings about anything. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> so... So anyhow, we're like, well, how can we promote Canadian culture? Well, we should have to just make people see a little bit of Canadian culture, because if we give TV stations and radio stations the choice, yep. they're just going to show all American stuff, because that's what's popular. We need, to, we need to basically make it a rule they have to show some Canadian content. So this is the law that, this, this that is... brought me the joy of Letterkenny. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Good yeah. law. And, and so... <laughs> Letterkenny is amazing. But this extends to all things except the internet, and I wish it did because then people would have to watch me because of CanCon. Ha -ha, uh, the <laughs> that's true. That's true. But, but the point being, like, there's a whole bunch of like weird Canadian bands that only got popular in Canada because of CanCon requirements, and okay. uh, there's a bunch of like, and you know all those beloved Heritage minutes. Yep. Do you know why they got made? Because of. Because you had to show something <laughs> Canadian made, and there sure as heck wasn't enough cartoons and other stuff to go around. And I think it's fair, like a fairly low percentage too. I think it's only like thirty percent of yeah. uh, content original or like content uh, broadcast has okay. to be Canadi Canadian. Mm -hmm. I thought it was twenty percent. Twenty percent, something like that. Um, and I mean, oh. it. A lot of our population lives within a broadcast range of American radio. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yep. Especially in the middle of the 20th century. Yeah. I mean, sometimes my phone thinks I'm roaming when I go to some of the beaches. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so if I'm... you go to Souk, you're apparently in America. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. yep. Yeah, if you go up to Souk. Huh. So well, we... that's neat. Yeah, so we have... Interesting, I should say. Maybe not neat. I would say very much interesting. Though. Yeah. A lot of bands, a lot of TV shows that only we care about. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's fine. Canada is its own sovereign nation. Technically. Mostly. Being part of a commonwealth. It's weird. Boy, boy, it, learning more about, like, actually doing, like, deep dive research and doing, like, history and stuff. Can this, this is a weird, awesome country. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's that patriotism. I see. I yeah. see. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Canada's a weird, awesome country. Mm. <laughs> I mean, we're like, in, inside, we're like, of course, of yes. Of course, yes. But, you know, we don't want to be, like, too much about <laughs> <laughs> that would be rude. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna get a tattoo when I get my citizenship of mm. the Canadian flag. No, no, okay, no, good, no, good, good. You can no. get the Just Devin Townsend, a, a Harley Davidson tattoo when I get. No, what what's that? The Devin Townsend. Oh, you're gonna need to explain oh, that to he's me. He's a Canadian um, musician, heavy metal mostly, I but he has uh, really the Canadian Canada. It, there's there's a uh, federal letterhead. Which is Canada with half the flag. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mm. thought you were going to say Federal Letterhead was another like punk or metal band or something. Which would be a, a great a great name. Mm. Yeah. But thank you. Thank you for explaining that to me. I truly appreciate it.
We should maybe just make you a playlist of Canadian music because Leonard Cohen's also Canadian. Yeah. I'm cool with that. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Oh, how, how, have you listened to the Tragically Hip? Uh, no. Okay. Probably. <gasps> probably at some point? Oh, you! If you have listened to radio in Canada, you have probably yes, heard the tragically. Then, then hip I, I have most. Yes, then I have definitely heard the tragically hip. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not great with names. That's fair. Yeah, and also, often if they're just playing on the radio, they don't. You don't always connect the name with the song. Yeah, yeah, yep. Um, Kathleen, I have a question for you. Uh -huh. Where is the band Boards of Canada from? Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> and the, of Montreal is from Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> um. I think Atlanta. Mm. Oh, right, the Sam Roberts band. Do you remember, like, oh, seeing oh, them I on... Sam Roberts. I saw them on so many festival bills, and I was just like, why yep. is this band here? I've never heard yep. of them. They're so high build, but the CanCon mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Godspeed You, Black Emperor, and um, uh, uh, A Silver Mount Zion. Have you Canadian. heard Godspeed You, Black Emperor? No, but, man, I'm into every <gasps> word of that sentence. <laughs> the Weaker Thens, uh, Constantine's. I, I, Sloan? I, I like all of these names. Tell Broken us. social scene. Nope. Yeah. New pornographers. Uh, that one I've heard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the um? Oh crap! Never mind. I I I I was trying to think of a band name and it escaped me at the last moment. Understood. Yeah. Skinny puppy. Mm-hmm. Hot hot heat. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> Fun fact. Hot Arcade Fire. That's Arc it. Oh, That's Arcade Fire. Oh, yeah. 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 I've definitely heard Arcade Fire. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Great. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Inund inundate me with Canadiana. Okay. Please. Sure. Well, we'll do a, maybe later in the week, we'll do a special, uh, we'll do a special Canadian uh, band exchange cool. thing. Yeah. We'll put all, well, all the Canadians mm -hmm. will get together and, and it, t teach all the Americans because the show, the shift is, well, there's six of us, right? Yep. So, so it's a third American. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And New Yorkers. Yes. I'm sorry, one and a half New Yorkers. He's from Long Island. Oh! Yeah, no, no. L L having lived away from Long Island for for a long time now, yeah. and then going back and visiting it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> mm. They always say you can't go home again. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, no. It, it, it Completely understandable. You had to discover what we've known all along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my eyes have been opened. <laughs> the scales have fallen away. But you did bring those dope chocolates. Oh, there's still those chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>